What's up, blockheads? Last ride on the low rider S today, unfortunately. Man, and it is not a good one. Freaking weather is just garbage today. It was pretty good this morning, but as of right now, man, it seems like a disservice for my last ride to be on wet roads. Especially since, you know, this bike is a monster and it makes you want to get on it, but not on wet roads, man. See all that? All that oil? No bueno. Makes you lose traction and seeing as how this thing's pretty much for sale now, I need it in good condition. So anyways, this is uh, this is my last ride on the Low Rider S. Kinda sad. So yeah, as you guys know, I basically posted up this bike for sale not too long ago. Started getting a lot of people that were basically interested in how much I was letting it go for. And uh, a couple people, actually a couple people, a lot of people messaged me uh, saying that they basically wanted the bike, sent them a price, and they said, okay. So, um, you know, I didn't price it out like super outlandish or anything. It's actually a very, very fairly priced, you know, I priced it to move much as I do anything that I sell, you know, based on the mileage, not even at 5,000, based on the modifications done to it, you know, I, I price it pretty fairly. So I hope that the person that buys it appreciates the bike because it's definitely uh, a bike that I enjoy a lot. And uh, I am sad to see her go, but I know it's one of those things that basically me letting it go is gonna open up a lot of opportunities. So it's kind of crazy to think. I mean, I knew that whenever I bought this motorcycle that it was gonna be a limited production run and that it would increase in value more than likely. And that uh, that doesn't ever usually happen with motorcycles. So uh, little did I know that Harley Davidson would discontinue the Dyna line, which, you know, helped me even further. But yeah, it's pretty crazy that, uh, that I'm selling it because I just never, never really saw it happening for a few reasons i remember riding this bike on a test ride and i had ridden i had test ridden a couple other bikes my whole thought process my idea was to go from the iron 883 that i was riding at the moment and to get a 48. well i ended up you know doing some test rides it was myself and eric and we were just kind of messing around doing some test rides you know and this was uh, one of the motorcycles that the salesman actually decided to uh, bring along for the for the demo ride, for the test ride. You know, I was like, cool, I didn't really have an eye on it at all, just because it, like the front fairing, I immediately wasn't a fan. I like stuff more like along the lines of the breakout and, uh, you know, like low, long, kind of low profile. And this one wasn't really on my radar until I ended up test riding it. All right. Too much power. Shit, son. Holy shit, dude. What the fuck? <laughs> oh my god, bro. <laughs> this thing is fast as fuck. Holy fuck. And I remember it feeling very similar uh, to my Sportster because it has uh, slightly forward mids. Not mids, but slightly forward mids. Ugh, this weather is garbage. Yeah, not mids, but slightly forward mids. And uh, this is the area that we test rode it, right over in here. So I guess I'm kind of bringing it back to where it all started for me on this bike. <laughs> been all over the state of Florida with this thing. Took this thing down to Key West. Served me well, man. It's ran perfect since day one. That's funny, man, because people talk junk about Harley Davidson, reliability and all that. Dude, any Harley that I've ever had has never given me any issues. So I don't know what it is whenever people talk about that, what they're talking about. And I have not babied this bike at all. You guys see how I get on it. And granted, you don't see that you don't see how I ride all the time because I'm not always filming and not always on the camera, but I don't take it easy on this bike, you know? I didn't do a soft break in, you know, 500 miles, 
I ripped this thing from day one and I wish I could right now <laughs> especially on this long strip of road but uh, man the roads are wet and I don't want anything to happen to it but we got 4,994 miles on her 5,000 miles man 5,000 miles on the Dyna Lowrider S that's not really a lot of miles it's funny that people will say like oh yeah what's the mileage on the bike and I'm like oh it's under 5,000 they're like really for like as much riding as you do and what's really funny is that like people think I ride a lot because obviously that's what's on the channel is like me riding all the time right but what's funny is that there's there is a lot of riding on the channel I do I do ride quite often but the thing is I ride a lot of other motorcycles quite often it's not always my bike which is kind of funny so yeah I didn't manage to put a lot of miles on this thing and I've owned it over a year and I did a lot of work on her you know got it to where I liked it but then it came to the point that it was like do I want to continue working on it you know specialty two-year production motorcycle or should I just leave her as is since it's a two-year production motorcycle and that was the smarter option for me basically leave her as is and then if I want to wrench on a Dyna to basically get a project Dyna and that's what I'm gonna be doing at the moment there are a couple projects up in the air for the blockhead family so Miss Blockhead just got a brand new 2019 Harley-Davidson Softail Lowrider, the 107 Milwaukee 8. And uh, I also have a 2009 Harley-Davidson Sportster Iron 883 that I'm going to be building out and giving away. So between those two, there is a lot of content that's going to come out of like modification videos, how-to videos, stuff like that, right? And then I also bought the 2019 Harley-Davidson Softail FXDR, as you guys should have seen. And I'm going to be doing more videos on that bike. As time goes on, there will be modifications done to that bike. So here's what I'm thinking in terms of schedule, because Miss Blockhead said this to me the other day. She was like, yeah, you've got a lot of bikes to work on right now. And I'm like, you know what? You're right. Basically three bikes to work on. We've got her bike which we're gonna go club style you know with the fairing and t-bars and step up seat and raise up the suspension and all that stuff and then I've got the iron 883 which is gonna take a couple months to basically build that out like I said giving that one away through patreon gonna be styling it after my uh, first original Harley iron 883 if you guys want to join in on that and uh, join in on the patreon community and you're automatically basically part of uh, a person that might be randomly selected to receive the bike at the end of the build. So build series two. Oh, I don't wanna, <laughs> I don't wanna keep going. I don't wanna go to the Harley dealership. As soon as I go to the Harley dealership, that's it. The tag is coming off and she's there basically awaiting the buyer. Got a couple people lined up, man, it's crazy. But it's good, man. I'm glad you guys are so interested in the bike. But uh, I've had a lot of fun with this bike. It's been, it's been a real good bike to me. I am definitely sad to see her go, but I think it's smarter for somebody to basically take the bike as it is right now and appreciate it for what it is versus me continuing trying to work on it when I've got other bikes to work on and uh, a project Dyna basically on the list. So I guess for the moment, we're gonna focus on Miss Blockhead's project Dyna not really a Dyna, it's like a soft tail Dyna, Dyna tail. Yeah, like I said, all the while working on the Sportster, which I'm gonna go freaking build that thing out to the nines. Big bore kit, custom paint, all that good stuff. And then uh, all the while working on the 2019 FXDR as well, kind of making it my own, which is gonna be a little more challenging because it's brand new and there's no parts out there for it, but we'll get there. Hope you guys have been enjoying watching me go in circles. <laughs> We're gonna put 5,000 on this damn thing. I'm gonna get there. Damn it. Four more miles to go. At some point I need to pull over and uh, basically talk about all the modifications that I did to this bike because I know many of you guys are interested in that. But uh, yeah, that'll be that'll be a separate video. Kind of take these turns all slow so I don't wash out. Damn it. it sucks. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about, these wet roads. Just did that and my rear tire just spun. 
anyways, I gotta say thank you guys too, you know, for uh, staying along for the ride. I know every now and then whenever I switch up bikes on the channel, people, you know, uh, kind of lash out and there's a handful of people that basically get all upset and disgruntled and say unsubscribe and, you know, I was here for that bike, blah, blah, blah. I'm not of that mindset. I don't subscribe to uh, YouTube channels for the motorcycles. I subscribe to YouTube channels uh, for, the, for the personalities, for the creators, you know, because uh, that's what, you know, keeps me interested and keeps me drawn to the channel. But, I mean, if you guys are one of those people that are upset because I got rid of the Dyna, then, you know, that's your, uh, that's your right. And you are allowed to go. If you do, ride safe, stay vigilant. For those of you guys that uh, are sticking around, which is the majority of you, I have to say thank you as well for continuing on this motorcycle journey with me. It's funny because... You know, I've been through a couple bikes and people do comment and say I feel like you buy a bike every other month or so. And uh, between, you know, the, like all of the bikes that I have gotten, I have gone through a lot of bikes in a short amount of time. I don't know, it always just kind of seems to work out for me for some reason financially. It's not really like, I don't, I'm not even going to really talk or go too far in depth into the finances around it. But I'll just say it always kind of seems to work out for me for some reason, which is good. I'm grateful. But yeah, it's, it's going to be sad to see her go, man. But there are definitely some really cool opportunities coming up uh, that are opening up because of letting this bike go. No traction, man. No traction. The freaking rear tire just sliding out, man. <laughs> but yeah, there's some cool opportunities that are opening up because of getting rid of this. Uh, lowrider s which is just kind of weird to think to the new owner in this bag you have a bunch of goodies so there's uh stickers key tags there's uh custom harley stickers as well like the one here on the side of the tank um there's the original badge also uh and then a couple of decals so just a few goodies for you and then i wanted to do like a little hidden blockhead somewhere on the bike but i didn't 49.99 we're almost there. I'm gonna have to give this thing a nice bath at Harley just to make sure she's all nice and cleaned up from this road grime. It's funny, man, how people connect with the machines that they own, you know, and riding a motorcycle, it's just, it's such a, uh, a personal thing, you know, especially after you make it your own because, uh, I mean, you put your own like kind of style and, and taste and flair on it. There are others similar, but there are none that I've seen for the most part that are like mine. It's already a rarer Dyna, you know, to your production and all, so. I am sad to see her go. A lot of blood, sweat, and beers put into her. It's crazy, I, I kinda wonder, like, how many subscribers did I have whenever I first got this bike? And what's even more crazy is <laughs> the amount of people that uh, I heard did not like this motorcycle whenever I got it, to now. And how many people I've basically had tell me that I, I changed their opinion about the Dyna. If you guys are one of those people, be sure to post down in the comments below. That's always really cool to hear. I feel like you're getting over, but you don't have a signal on. Cool guy, use your signal next time. But yeah, if you guys are one of those people that basically uh, posted up a while back saying that you didn't like the Dyna, but then slowly, little by little, you know, the direction that I took it, you guys ended up liking it. Be sure to post up, it's always really cool to hear. And uh, it's awesome to have that you know, vote of, vote of confidence from a lot of you guys. I know a lot of people were saying that they really are looking forward to the direction that I'm going to take the FXDR. And uh, so am I. I've already got some ideas. Actually, I've got quite a few ideas. Sorry. I wonder how many sudoots I've done on this bike. A lot. A damn lot. Come on, 5,000. Where are you at? Dude, if I hit 5,000, like, right as I roll up there, <laughs> that'll be crazy. Come on, 5,000, damn it. We're almost there. All right, so you want me to do some more circles? I see. Dude, you've got to be kidding me. This is the longest mile ever. <laughs> Come on, man. Dude, you are killing me with this last freaking mile. Come on. There we go, 5,000. Woo, woo, 5,000 miles. All right, I'm happy. Let's take her in. All right, well, hope you guys have enjoyed the video. Saying bye-bye to 
the low rider that's with me you've been good girl you've been good all right you guys hit that like button hit subscribe hit that bell icon until next time ride safe stay vigilant i'll catch you guys later hey reese this is the bike that made you want to get yours and now it's leaving <laughs> it is kind of crazy kind of sad but it's a necessary move <laughs> yeah i mean i know the next person that gets it will appreciate it so for sure for sure yeah all right deuces deuces <laughs> all right later guys